figured it out guys. I spent all morning doing it, but I managed to get View of the Day compatible with both View and TypeScript and my god is it good. Yeah, it's a lovely, another crisp day. It's nice and sunny, but it is cold. Also very windy and middle of the week. So we've got, well, officially I don't have planning today, but I'm going to be sitting in on the other team's planning because their like team lead isn't going to be here for the next week for their sprint entirely. So I'm going to be helping out wherever needed. On the way home this evening, I had a, I had a buddy. <laughs> I was going along the path and I'm just like trundling along in eco mode. I should have really, um, I did quite a lot of GT mode the other day. Uh, I should have really charged it. So I'm like eco mode in a way, living the dream. And then I got a, a cyclist caught up with me. She wasn't going much faster than me, but she caught up with me because I kept getting stuck behind people. I haven't got a bell. <laughs> I don't want to be like, yo, can you move please? Um, so also I find it really frustrating when cyclists use a bell for purposes to that basically say get out the way rather than by the way, I'm about, don't just suddenly run across, which a person actually did. While I was on, on my logboard, I'm talking to this person. As we, we now start going a long way. It's talking about the board and cycling and stuff. And uh, I'm going along, and I can see, I'm looking, there's people there, I'm looking that way, talking to the person. Looking, talking to the person. And then in between me seeing this person, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna move into the middle to, over, to, to overtake it, talk to this person. That person then starts to come across the path I look forward as she's coming across the path and I go whoo, and I try and keep going forward to like keep going around her and it was like whoo, that much. I think my bag like went straight back like there. It must have been fucking close. So I apologise profusely because I, I wasn't looking, I wasn't paying attention. But also, damn good. So he came back and I was just I was just coming along with this cyclist and we are just having a good old, good old chin wag. Um, which was quite, quite good fun and then we had a race after and I'm like She's like, oh, that's it's pretty cool though. And I'm like, well, do you want to race me? <laughs> we hit the road um, and then I properly drained the battery. I didn't, I didn't properly drain it, but it, I got it to the point where it buzzed at me to be like, yo, Jamie, I've got low battery. You're not supposed to be in GT mode when you've got low battery, man. Um, lol, an insane amount of meetings. Five hours plus of meetings. Damn. Um, but we got there. I also managed to do enough work during the meetings to actually hit my goal of getting this thing deployed. Granted, I didn't get it deployed until the end of the day rather than lunchtime, but I still managed it. I was impressed with that. Um, and then tomorrow I can start new stuff, although we also have a meeting in the end tomorrow. Because <sighs> I have my own team's meetings tomorrow. Um, it's very meeting heavy so far recently. It's been quite intensive. But Laura has gone to netball. I am going to do some work. I've got to finish redesigning all of my security pages. Uh, I think the logout page is the last one I need to do. Um, have I got that on a little thing? Yeah, fix up styling on the logout page and then we we'll drive in some configuration data because the boat is hard coded. Um, but yeah, that's my plan of attack and then I need to start focusing on the web front end um, instead of the security front end. Are you ready for some dopeness? Hits. Oh yeah, boy. Also, the other pages look like that. That's my, they're my forms. With validation, boy. Beautiful. I do need to figure out what's going on with my build. Um, it's failing on the build server. Um, I believe it's to do with the TypeScript. So I think this, the automatic build that's run by Visual Studio is different to the build that I'm running manually um, because I, it changed. Um, so I need to update that script. And in theory, that should work and then I can start doing proper stuff again. Um, I should be able to step away from all of this configuration. I have semantic UI built into the front end um, of the other stuff and then all I need to do is set it up with uh, view validation and all that kind of shit on the front end um, or the proper front end to make it look good and work properly. Um, but yeah, so whew, thank God for that. I'm gonna start actually trying to save some data. Save some data, which probably includes adding some get stuff in, integrating with GraphQL, and integrating with the REST API. As a general proviso, I'm thinking using REST, uh, using um, GraphQL for gets, and um, the REST API for posts at the moment is what I'm thinking, instead of having mutations go through GraphQL, because GraphQL mutations are a little bit tasty. They're a little bit too fluid in my eyes, so. I'd much rather leave the API. I may change my mind on that. Depends what the interactions are. We're using a GraphQL client. But anyway, it's bedtime. Oh, it's 
get ready for bedtime. Anyway. This week, I could have definitely changed the wheels on my longboard. Definitely. There is not a world where I couldn't have at least tried going in the whole way on my longboard on the other wheels, which annoys me that I didn't have the balls to do it, but I'm pretty, oh gosh, I'm pretty, uh, I'm still pretty happy with myself. Wait, what am I saying? Okay, I'm concentrating on myself. I'm myself because I haven't been getting the bus, which is like, it's saved, it's saving me significant amounts of money. It's like not in any way, shape or form, it's like something like 14, 15 pounds, roughly, a week, which I'm literally just going, whoop, save that one, boy, which I am pretty happy about. What I am currently doing is uh, I've come back from work and Laura is, um, that's what I'm looking for. Hmm. I've been trying to sort out my build definitions. I spent most of my night last night trying to figure out why the fuck <laughs> if I built Semantic UI locally on Atlas, it would work. If I did it on the build server, which by the way is Atlas, it would add in an extra source into the path. So I wanted it to go to source semantic, uh, source slash semantic slash source, and then you have all of the semantic stuff at that point. But what it was doing was going to source slash semantic slash source slash source, and I'm like, why? So I managed to figure that out. I've just got it figured out now, and now I'm just trying to make sure that my security service is building as I'd expect it to build, um, basically. Because it turned out that the other one wasn't building as it was supposed to. So I'm just trying to figure out if this is. And that doesn't look like it. <laughs> In fact, that almost looks like an ancient build definition. So, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? So otherwise, today has been a semi-decent day. We've, we're trying out this new branching strategy at work, trying to figure out a way of sorting things out um, by like allowing more things to go into UAT at once. But I don't, I don't, I can just sense it's not going to work. Um, I feel like, I feel like the testers now have essentially the ability to strong arm what goes in and out of dev. And like they very nearly tried to cancel, tried to stop my user story going into UAT for testing, proper testing, because we're now doing like some kind of smoke level testing on, or exploratory testing in dev, and then we push it up to UAT for proper testing. But we almost didn't let it get to that UAT stage because on an iPad, like, the, some of the sizing it doesn't, isn't working properly. And one, it's like, I have a real issue, per, I think personally, on a personal level when UI-based bugs get dragged up to be essentially, like, um, to block something. Because a UI-based bug shouldn't be, at this stage of development, stopping as Forge on. And I feel like we were able to brush them under the carpet previously when there were other bottlenecks in order, but now we're just gonna... Oh, I don't know, it stresses me out a bit, man. It stresses me out. There's something I'm gonna try and have to deal with. Um, we're gonna have to start trying to win those arguments of being like, look, this ain't how we're doing it, boys. I believe as well that this isn't running because I'm not running my NPM install at the right stage, which is why the NPM stuff's not coming through for Vulidate, which is why can't find that in my build stuff. It's it's like it's like me, for example, stopping development on my project until I figured out whether or not it would work on an iPad. When I'm pretty confident that the business <laughs> in general would prefer to have a feature rich website on desktop before they allow you know what I mean? Like also for UI based bugs they're usually all semi-related. The only reason I managed to wiggle out of it was because A, we couldn't replicate it in browser stack. We couldn't replicate it on machines by like retrospectively changing the um, browser size. Um, and something else, we couldn't, we couldn't debug it on the iPad itself without plugging it into a Mac. Um, so that was the only reason, and the only reason I managed to get out of it was because it's on a, different page as well, in which case I can go, well, it's an overarching issue, <laughs> so it shouldn't block my story. Um, but yeah, I feel, I feel like now there's this weird thing where the testers approve it to go into UAT, there's now an assumption that anything they find, anything at all, no matter how small, has to be fixed, and that's not going to fly. 
because I'm going to start, I'm going to have to start, well, I'm going to start, I need to push back and basically say, look, that needs to go through triage. I don't think that's important and I shouldn't just fix it. That in general is something I struggle with on the basis that um, I usually just try and help people. If someone says there's a problem with something, I try and fix it. Um, wrongly or rightly. So that was that. Otherwise, I managed to churn through something else, fixed another user story, so I've got something else ready to go into test. Fortunately, that one is so small that there's no way they can push back on it. Happy days. Um, otherwise, we had refinement. I'm looking after a third, well, looking after one person in a third team is doing a spike test to try and integrate with our security service. Um, so I'm like looking after them. I'm trying to manage the 10,000 deployments we're trying to do to dev because um, the other team, their team lead who would normally push for that kind of stuff isn't there to push for it, so I'm pushing for it, but that means I've got to keep track on what they're doing, I've got to keep track on what I'm doing, and it's bizarre, it's, it's stressful as fuck, man, it's got to be set. That's that, that's the dream, ladies and gentlemen. We get there, we will get there in the end, it's just a case of figuring out dynamics, I guess. It's figuring out power dynamics, it's politics, it's all politics. Um, but yeah, anyway. Previously we were able to just kind of, it would all go into dev and then it would all get triaged. And I think at the moment, when it's in dev, we're circumnavigating triaging and I don't think we should. Um, so, it's my bad, I'm the one that fucking slipped on it. I should have been like, get it triaged, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, but, like I say, self-improvement and all that shit. The news, I'm now 90% sure that the reason it's not building is because I never attempted to build it. I did, I did and I did an npm install, I installed all the packages I needed to install and then never built it. That's why. Gonna rescue Laura from town but I know what it is, I haven't, I haven't set up the um... Oh gosh. I need to set up the either a pre-build step into my project itself or I need to explicitly run npm uh, gulp builds uh, as part of the build definition. Probably better to do it as a pre-build so I'll do that. I think it's acceptable to do this in my pyjamas right? That was fine. That was fine. Right. So, I'm all good in the hood. What I need to do is sort out my build and then I can start looking at actually integrating back with the API, which is all good and stuff. Also me earlier saying it's like me stopping doing stuff to make it look pretty. Arguably that's what I've done this week. But, you know, I need a plan of attack. For the morning, I'm gonna be thinking about hitting, what am I gonna hit next? I need to, oh no, what, what I need to do is uh, generate from the API a list of, um, providers that are currently supported and then the details of how to connect to it um, that's what I'm going to be doing so that the API uh, so that the user interface will go hit off to the server generate the view for the user to create um, and then roll from there we're doing it that way so that we can basically we have a drop down menu being like I want to build this kind of provider and it's like a list of supported providers um, of one at the moment and I'm going to make that all Nice and swaggy. Um, I believe that means a bit of GraphQL, a bit of GraphQL goodness, which is exciting. Um, so that's what I'm going to get my teeth into. I'm not even going to contemplate changing tyres until it stops doing this weird thing where it's really warm for a couple of days and then fucking freezes. This remote, while the battery life isn't as good as the other one and it's a little bit harder to connect to the board every now and again, the advantage is it's much easier to use in the left hand so my right hand can go in my pocket and keep working. I just knew today was going to be long, busy and stressful. It's bedtime. I've already got my pyjama top on. But it's bedtime. Today was one of those days where you... I had like three hours of solid productive programming in the morning. I was flying through new stuff, got something old signed off. It was great, living the dream. And then like there became a point where just work stopped. <laughs> you know when you just kind of get bounced around everybody? So you're like, you, someone calls you there and on your way there, you get collared by someone else, then by someone else, then by someone else. And I'm trying to solve a problem for this team. I go and help and support this team. Come back to my own team. They've got a problem. Then we go somewhere else. It's just everywhere. And there was a good like three hours of literally me just walking between people, helping out. <laughs> it was really unproductive. I think we're there. We had, um, yeah, it was, it was just a case of like one team had like a pretty serious bug come, came up and it's going to affect their sprint and their normal sprint leads not around. Uh, team lead's not around, so I was like trying to figure out how best to structure that. Um, trying to figure out how to fix their issue for them as well. I was then helping out uh, 
the testers with something, I was helping out a different team trying to integrate with some single sign-on stuff that we've set up for them. Um, as I get <laughs> just everyone else as well, um, my boss started asking me about dogs <laughs> and I'm like, Mate, I've got to go get some work done. <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep talking because if I, the longer I stay here, the more chance it is someone will finish and then need me again. I need to get back and get my headphones on. That's fun. Um, today, we have quite an exciting day ahead of us. We have a fun day of going to go view some houses. We're going to go do some house viewings. We have three lined up, which is pretty exciting. Um, Laura is currently in town getting... She was going to get a hair dyed. Some, like, she's getting a hair dyed, but she's going to go down today to see if she's allergic to the dye or not. So, so here's something that might interest you. Um, I might be able to show you that. You probably can't tell, but outside this window here, there's a magpie nest. I'm waiting for the little babby magpies to come out. Just missed your opportunity, because there was a magpie just there a second ago. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's freezing cold outside. I'm <laughs> not jealous of Laura, who's had to go out, but I'm here, I've done a white wash, I've done the washing up, uh, there's a chance that she might be a bit longer than she thinks, so that I might have to go pick her up from town and then race off because our viewing's at 11 and it's a uh, quarter to 20 to 9 um, and her appointment's at 9. So, gonna be a bit touch and go, but I am gonna start doing some back end stuff. I'm gonna start uh, integrating shit with our API and whatnot. Done UI based stuff. Well, in theory, I could do UI based stuff but I need to drive the data into it. So I'm gonna figure out how to get that data down first um, because I'm gonna have an API call or a GraphQL call um, to get applicable um, shit. I've fallen off the curve sleep-wise. Again, every, I get to Thursday and then I fail. That's what happens to me every time. And I don't remember my alarm going off and also my alarm, my real alarm, because I'm using my phone as my like, by partial alarm. This alarm here, the light's gone again. How far I zoomed in am I? Whoops. Awkward. Um, but yeah, my light's gone on my um, alarm clock. So I'm looking at getting a different alarm clock. I want an alarm clock that can do multiple different times. Because I have multiple times I need to get up. I want one that works. And it's nearly bedtime, ladies and gentlemen. Three houses today. The first one, we were shown around by the owners, which is a bit strange. Um, it was like far too small. The living room is like barely the size of a double bed. It was it was nice, but it was a bit too small. I think it'd, it'd be a good rental um, if you didn't want a big space. And then there was, yeah, so there was that, which was good. Um, it was nice, but too small. So, out. Next, came back here, uh, chilled out for a little bit, did a little bit of work. Lots of programming done today, it's been great. In fact, I've basically, I just got one mapper to do and then my thing sorted. Um, and then we went out again. The second one we liked, but upstairs was too small. So, like, downstairs was brilliant. You know, I went in, there was like a nice little living room. There's a separate kitchen, conservatory, da da da, blah blah blah. Great. Upstairs, <laughs> one master bedroom about the size of this. And then the other one was just like a really narrow, small room, not big enough. Um, so we've, what we've discovered at this point is that we really care about having a two, at least two large bedrooms, um, if not three, uh, and then like one small room as a spare. But essentially we want a master bedroom and then a bedroom which can have an office in and can be converted into having a big bed in it as well, um, if we need to, if we need to have guests or anything. Came back here, had some very quick lunch and then raced on out again to the next one. The next one was... <sighs> I hate it when you go to a house for you and, and then the estate agent shows you and someone else around at the same time. Like, how much of a rush are you in? God damn it. <laughs> but that one was really nice. It was um, decently sized upstairs. Um, lots of storage. Good be good sized bedrooms. Really, like, new and modern as well, which was really good. Um, but it was great, but the location wasn't all very good. Um, it was a kind of location where... Laura said, like, she wouldn't be happy walking a dog around at night. I'm like, fair enough, god damn. But it was like, it was it was really nice. It was really good, well, close to town. But obviously, the closer you get to town, there's always like a band around town, which is like rougher than other areas. And it was just too far into that band. So that was a, also a no-goer. Like I say, it was that was really nice, um, in my opinion. It was only two bed, not three. Uh, I think if it was a three bed, Laura said like she might consider it a little bit more, but 
we've just seen three, we've discovered what's important, and that's why it is, we're kind of like dipping our toe in. Really, we don't really want to spot one we really want now, because we we, we could do it now, but we'd like kneecap ourselves. Whereas at the end of March, we have more than enough money. And basically, to a certain extent, at the end of March, we could we could do it without burning down our savings. Whereas if we do it now, we burn down our savings. Um, just because of um, incomes that are coming in around now. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's that. Jolly good fun. It was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, kind of flashbacks to when we tried to struggle so hard to find this place. But it's one of them things that's like partially enjoyable, partially shit at the same time. It's also really awkward. Uh, and yeah, but we'll get there. We one of the good things we enjoyed was realizing what we could afford. Like we're walking around, a little, well the, in the case of the last one, one really good house, proper house that we could just buy. Literally, we could just buy tomorrow if we wanted to, and that's dope. That's really dope, and it comes under budget. That's Dope. There was this kind of like this thing about how oh we may never. Laura's said it before. Like we may never be able to buy a house. Like come on, we can. We just need to try, and we have tried. We've been saving meticulously, putting money aside, and now we're looking at that point. So can't wait. I genuinely can't wait. But so yeah, every like weekend now we're going to start having a look around houses. Um, it's a great way to spend your time. Anyway, I'm going to end this video, ladies and gentlemen. I've still got two videos on this camera. Um, I'm trying to figure out... Oh, I just want to just have something crawl away there. <sighs> Let's put my feet up. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to end this video, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow is day 2500. Um, I don't particularly think anything exciting is happening. I'm going to town tomorrow. I was contemplating going swimming. I haven't been swimming in a long time. Usually because we've been going out on Saturday nights. So I haven't been getting up Sunday mornings. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what to do vis-a-vis -vis that uh, tomorrow. I don't, I'm not really in the mood. And I know Laura's going for a long run. So I might instead take the advantage of doing a load of programming. And then I'm going to town on my own as well. Because otherwise I feel guilty going to town or going on my computer to do something else. I feel guilty making YouTube videos because I should be programming. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go wake up Laura. She's asleep on settee. We're going to go to bed. Thank you very much for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. I will catch you later.